Hello. In this video, I want to show you an example of a function. We are to write a program to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. These are temperatures, of course. If Celsius is given to by this formula, Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. Now, let's have a look at how I did this using a function. So, I have two variables, f and c, f for Fahrenheit and c for Celsius. And f is equal to string to int. So I get f from the text box, that one over there. Now, c is equal to f convert to c of f. So this is my function. I've written a function that will do that whole big long calculation on its own and return the result in the name of the function. So let's go and look at how we did that. I scrolled up a little bit. And here's my function. You type your own functions in this way. So we do it before the procedure that will be calling the function. So anywhere earlier, well not anywhere, below implementation as well. So I write function, the name of the function, and then in brackets, any parameters that go into the function. And I only want parameters coming in. I don't want parameters going out of the function. So function, the word function, the name of the function, any parameters that must come in, and then a colon and the data type of the function. Now, because this function is going to calculate a real number, my f convert to c has to be a real value. We use the word result to send back our answer through the name of the function. So, my result is the Fahrenheit temperature minus 32 times 5 over 9, and all of this I make equal to result. And result is sent back into the name of the function. So in this line, C becomes all in one go, F convert to C of the Fahrenheit temperature. And C is merely printed on the label over here. Let's run this program and see what it does. Convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's start with a value of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's only 37.78 degrees Celsius. Let's try 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's 0 Celsius. And let's try one other strange one. Minus 40 Fahrenheit is minus 40 Celsius. So the two are equal at that point. I also want to execute this program line by line. So let's press F7 and step through it so that you can see what exactly happens to the function. So I click on my button. The first line is to read in the value from the text box. I've already entered the value there of 32, I think it was. And now it calls the function. So if I press F7, it should hop up here. And it does. The result becomes equal to this calculation and then it hops back down here where it uses the value now stored in C. C is equal to the converted value of, of Fahrenheit, and here I'm merely displaying it.